We're going to move down. We're going to take a break as soon as this is over. Um, what do we see in this situation? She's a little bit overweight, yeah. She probably salt she could drop twenty pounds. What? High sugar salt and very low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ammonium high, so that's stress on the heart. Stress yeah. on the heart the is very evident here. The big range between the nitrates and the ammonia. Yeah, that's that's a that's a big one right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It should be even oh. it should be like a Seven seven or something, at, even at that, okay. Mm -hmm. Because an eighteen together is still in a good range, but a three over fifteen, that's really wild. So, what do you make of that? Yeah. Heart, heart, heart problems. Heart problems. Um, Anything else with that difference? Well, I mean, with her, she had some. Uh, she did have some thyroid issues, but we gather that a bit with the weight. Yes. And the pH in conjunction with that. Um, what else do you, do you want to go into on this? Uh, uh, with her, uh, would she be a good candidate for a water fast? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. she'd be a good candidate for a water fast. And vitamin D. She needs iron on the water fast. <laughs> yes, yeah. okay. she does. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not distilled. Um, Although, what about the 35C? You found the ionized water will still bring that down? Mm -hmm. Just more water. Yep. Okay. I read, in, I think it was Bedore's book, it said that when the urea reaches 30, you can't live, you die. Um, is that the combination of the two numbers or just one number? It's a combination of the two. Combination. Okay, so that, yeah. that person there, the bomber is 18. Yeah, this is 18. I think still the said when it gets above 25, you're really sick. You're ready for a heart attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so here was an interesting thing. We did give this gal, or she, uh, we recommended to her that she would take some vitamin D. She took 50,000 units of vitamin D a day for two weeks. Um, she drank a gallon of distilled water. I don't know how faithful she did that because she didn't stay here. Okay, but she drank a, probably at least a half a gallon of that uh, ionized water a day. Uh, she did change her diet. She was drinking a lot of soda pop, and she cut that out. She, um, what else? We gave her coral calcium and Cal2. Um, what else did we do for her? I gave her a magnesium supplement as well. It wasn't a dolomite one, though, at the time. Um, she changed her diet. Okay, but, but even after two weeks, what, what had happened? Now it was starting to move, but the I'm going to write in red what it changed to. Two weeks later, she had six. bit stubborn for two yes. weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I can change, if what, before when I wasn't totally with you guys, I can change my salt levels in hours. Uh -huh. I, 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 the reason why I said I couldn't say, say for sure that she was being totally faithful yeah. to her, but if, even if we gave her the credit, you know, that she did, it's just a real stubborn number. Yeah. You know, one thing that makes me think that she was, because the urea is bouncing yeah, now. Right. Okay? It's interesting, isn't it? So it stayed pretty high. Um, the pH, now, this, this number here troubled her for months. It took her about three months to get above a six. What does that say? Is her diet 
Well, no, it wasn't really the diet. It's just that the reserve energy was really low. Right. She was very sluggish. I don't know where you're coming up with this reserve energy thing that I don't see. Where are you picking that up? Well, no, okay. In the process of her going and taking three months to get from a 5'5 five five to, you know, a, a 6'2 uh, or 6'1, whatever it was, it shouldn't take that long. No. What that's saying is that the reserves of calcium in her body were really low. Could you do the lemon pH test to discover that? Lemon pH test. You know where you do the, you check your, um, it's in that uh, rise and shine, but he shows where you check, uh, you swish lemon water in your mouth and you swallow it, and then you check your pH for every minute. And it's supposed to give you your reserve number. I have it in a file on one of these pen drives. I'll pin it out for you. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Have you ever heard of that one? It tells you how, in five that. minutes, six minutes actually, if you don't have any res <laughs> if you don't have any reserves of alkalinity in six minutes, you know, after having lemon introduced. Very interesting. Yeah. It's supposed to give, tell you, he uses it, Anderson uses it as a test to see whether or not you're in a good place. Who's Anderson? Yeah, his book is Arise and Shine. What's the first name? His name is, um, gosh, see, I wanted to say Jerry. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Dr. Anderson. Not Arden? Y'all don't know it. It's got a purple words. The whole book's in purple. It's been out like 20 years, although it's been updated every year. Um, Mark Anderson. No, I'll look it up. Okay. But um, well. he, he, um, he has that test, and then there has been some extensions or improvements even. Um, don't check your reserves with lemon water. Well, I, I have never heard of it, but that's interesting. I've been to look into it. But You shouldn't cleanse if your reserves are too low, is what he says. Yeah. So that's, it's testing your mineral reserves. It's said in the book, you shouldn't, plant, you shouldn't do a fast if the urea number is 12 and below or something, below 12 or something. Well, yeah, well, I look more at the, the sugar and salt range in determining that, but usually what we're doing is what the fast is trying to bring down the urea numbers. So if the urea numbers are already low, mm -hmm. maybe that's not what we need to consume most. Mm -hmm. How much honey and salt was it? Two minutes. No, interrupt. Okay. Interrupt. 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 That's one thing that's a good point. If somebody is really bedridden, you could take some like wheatgrass juice and inject that into the rectum every day, a couple of times a day, and that will help bring them back a bit. If it's a pancreatic issue, you could try lemon juice, and lemon juice sometimes will cause that to work. Um, this gal here, this was a very troubling thing. We did not fast her because she went home I do think in the course of a month, if I remember correctly, like a month and a half after we saw that this stayed low, that she did go on a fast herself for three days. And this did eventually come up. This number got down to like a 17 after a couple of months. So it, sta it stayed high for quite some time. Uh, the ureas got down to like a 5.5. Five, and we were pretty comfortable at that point, uh, at that point with her, okay? Uh, we felt like she was making good progress. But I'm just letting you know that sometimes these things will take longer than, you know, uh, just a few weeks. Like in the case of, of your friend up here, uh, the 72-year-old man. See, she's 35 and a half the age. You would think that it would take uh, less time for her to get to a position, but, but sometimes that's not the case, okay? This gentleman will probably take a bit of time to get well. You know, generally speaking, longer than somebody of a younger age. But you will see um, that sometimes it just takes much longer. Okay, we're going to stop for now.